Senator, the other big story, of course, today, the president's speech on jobs. Uh, he sort of made a, a series of repeated uh, plaintive cries, really, to the Republicans to say, come on, I need your help here. Most of the things that I'm proposing we're in broad agreement over. And the early signs are that the Republicans are being quite receptive to the president's jobs plan. What is your reaction? And do you think he'll get this through? Well, we certainly need um, to deal with the sinking economy. The growth that we're, being, we're seeing now is 1% or less, far below what was projected just a few months ago. Jobs are not coming on at all like we'd want them to be. So it's a very dangerous time. The problem I have is I am convinced from the experts we've heard is that the debt itself is threatening our economy. So when you spend $300 billion more and promise to uh, a four or 500, how much it is, we don't know yet. Uh, and on a promise that in the decade to come, we will pay for it by reduction some other way, uh, you've really added to the debt. It's a dangerous trend, and we haven't gotten the bang for our buck. We've tried the payroll holidays. We've tried uh, extending unemployment. We've tried uh, other kind of expenditures, and they just have not done the job. I think in the long run, with the president fail tonight, to look the American people in the eye and tell them that we are in a dangerous problem and the greatest danger is the debt and the debt itself is, is uh, costing us jobs now and adding to the debt uh, is a dangerous thing. Senator, thank you very much for your views on those two breaking stories tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you.